Hello, this is Brandon from Florida Fishing Team, and today I'm going to be teaching you a good recipe for spicy Spanish mackerel. For this, you're going to need a broiling pan, aluminum foil, butter spray, blackening season, Cajun seasoning, and a stick of butter. Here, let's get started. First things first, once you have your aluminum pan, you spray it with butter. Then you're going to take your mackerel fillets, any, any amount you'd like, and you're going to lay them skin down on the pan, just as shown. Next, you're going to take your melted butter and pour it over each fish. It does not matter amount of butter, it's just calories and other things, so it's your choice. Next, we're going to take our blackening seasoning. Any blackening season will work. And it's as spicy as you'd like. I like it really spicy, so I shake a lot on it. Just as shown. Alright, now I'm going to put this one down, and I'm going to grab the Cajun seasoning. Creole or Cajun will work. Put that right on top of the blackening. Together, these two will combine and just make it really spicy. I like Tabasco on all my food. That's why I created this recipe. So once you have that, there, your fit, your meats, your fillets are prepped, and they are ready to go into the oven. We are gonna broil these. We are broiling them on high, so preheat your oven for high, and we're gonna broil them for six minutes. As you can see, I'll put the timer on for six minutes. All right, these are the fish in middle mid cooking nice and broiling right there all right um the fish is now done cooking i am pulling them out of the oven um it's still boiling it smells great in the house and you can just see the butter and the seasoning just boiling on the pan let me grab a fork real quick to make sure that these are done I did six minutes depending on how high your oven is or how hot it gets quickly you might have to do more or less it looks pretty good here looks good to me thank you for watching here's the meal I prepared with the fish I put it with some noodles and some green beans it's also great with some rice please subscribe thank